Hello and welcome back to uh, your third lesson on uh, building Master Code Online, a Django tutorial series. Anyhow, um, in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and get Django installed, um, and then we're going to fire fire up our Django server and uh, make sure that we have our um, project working properly. Uh, from this point on, I'm going to take you through my steps I use in my everyday life of building Django sites uh, to get um, a Django project up and running and how I get it uh, to Heroku, which I normally tell my clients to use. Um, so what I'm going to do is take you through each step minus explaining it to you. Um, but I'll take you through each step and we'll make sure we get it fired up running on locally on our computers and then also to Heroku. Now that's going to take a couple tutorials, but I just want to let you know what my mindset is uh, from this point on. All right. So now that we have our virtual environment activated, um, we have our Django project in our Django directory. We are good to go with installing Django itself. So I'm going to clear my screen with command K. I got to be on my screen to do so. Command K. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and install um, uh, the latest version of Django, which is uh, 1.11.1, I believe. So let's go ahead and do uh, pip install Django. Um, you notice in the previous tutorial, I had to use pip3 to install um, virtual EMV. Uh, in this case, I do not, because now that we're in a virtual environment, we only have one version of Python, and that's Python 3.6.1. Let me just make sure that's what our virtual environment threw in. So let's do a Python-V, and there we go. We got Python 3.6.1. I was just making sure we didn't start a virtual environment of uh, Python 2.10 or whatever it is. Anyhow, let's do a pip install Django. All right. So this is going to go ahead and install Django and any dependencies Django has at this moment. So once it starts going, you'll see it doing something, collecting Django, installing. Ah, uh, they got another version, Django uh, 1.11.2. All right. So that's going to be the one we're using to build this project. Should only be another second. All right, now we successfully installed Django 1.11.2. We can move on. Um, so if you type in ls, you're going to notice nothing changed in here. This is what we had before. We had bin, lib, include. All right, so I don't remember where, where I was. My wife came in uh, to the room here. But um, all right, so I was talking about, I think you don't see Django in here. It's because Django is uh, actually thrown into the site's packages in the um, Python installation itself, which is in the include, I believe, if I remember correctly. Anyhow, um, next, what we want to do is create a Django project. And to do that, we're going to do Django admin start project. And we're going to call this master as well for master code online. And if we list out now, you're going to see master is in here. Now, this is our Django project itself. Now, if you have a um, text editor installed on your machine, we can go ahead and open one of these up. This is some other crap I was working on here, so we'll just close that out. Um, what is going on? All right, sir. So sorry about that. I uh, had to pause the video and once again forgot where I was. But let's just finish this up real quick. All right. So in my text editor, I'm using PyCharm. Uh, you can use any text editor you like. Uh, if you're looking for a good free one, go ahead and uh, check out Sublime Text. Um, Otherwise, uh, 
Like I said, you can use whatever one you like. It doesn't matter for Django or Python. Um, but one with a, a code completion would be nice uh, to help you learn. Anyhow, I opened up our text editor at our master code in online inside our Django folder uh, directory and the first master directory in there. So if you looked at our um, file finder in here, but let's put it on this guy. Um, right here we got Django master. That's where I opened it up at. Uh, so I see bin include lib and master. Um, we 99% of the time do not touch bin include or lib, but I like to open up there just so I know where I'm starting at every time. All right. So this is our Django project right in here in this, uh, second master directory. And then here we got a bunch of files that will uh, for example, this is the server file. So this will allow us to run our Django project. All right, so we got our Django project up and run, uh, uh, built uh, by default by Django. So let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. So go ahead and type ls into your terminal and see where we stand currently. Uh, if you see, we have, we're still in the bin include and you see master. Let's go ahead and change into master cd master all right now list it out again and you see we have manage.py now in future tutorials if you're confused at uh, what location i am in the terminal 99 percent of the time i'm going to be where manage.py is because that's where we run all our commands from for a django project so i'm going to clear my screen command k and we're going to do python manage.py run server Alright. So once I get a return here that something's actually happening. Alright, so um right here we ran Python manage.py run server, uh performed a bunch of system checks. That's something Django does every time when it runs the server. You notice it says system check identify no issues. But we do have a uh, message here. It says 13 unapplied migrations. Um, basically, migrations have to do with the database. We do not need to run that right at this moment. But what I'm trying to do here is check out that um, when we open a browser and we put this URL right here into that browser, we get a nice welcome message. Welcome to Django. So let's go ahead and check that out. Where python.org was, go ahead and uh, put in the new URL, press return, and this should open up a nice welcome to Django message. It worked, congratulations, your Django Power page is complete, uh, built. Um, so it tells you the next thing to do is uh, go start uh, your first app. I run Python Mesh.py start app. We are not going to do that right away because what we're going to do next tutorial is we're going to actually go ahead and configure our uh, Django project to run on um, Heroku. And that's the server we're going to use for our project. So um, there's some dependencies and uh, settings that need to be set properly. I'm going to walk you through that. And once we've walked through that, you'll be able to run any Django project on Heroku. So I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.